channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's enjoying my videos just as much as I'm enjoying making them. So today we'll be doing this look right here. Now today I've made this look just using the Ciate Cross Chloe Morello palette which I just got. I'm so in love with. Mecca did an online restock and I had to get my hands on it. So I've done a pretty full-on glamour eye with this look. Perfect for going out as I am today. I've got a friend's birthday on. Shout out Mike. I love you. Um, and so I just wanted to have like a full face glam with that as well. So that's what I've done today. Um, I hope you guys all enjoy watching. So let's get on with the look. So we'll start today's look with a clean face. So just taking the original primer by Australis and with my fingers, I'm just going to press that into my skin. So today I'll be taking my F75 concealer brush by Sigma with the NYX Above and Beyond Concealer in Yellow. Now I'll just be applying that all over the eye area starting from the base of the lashes all the way to the base of the brows. Then I'll just take my beauty blender and just blend that all out to make sure there are no harsh edges. I'll be taking the shade My Tribe with the E60 brush to just set the concealer. And then I'll be taking the shade Jet Setter with the E35 brush. And just applying that into my crease. So really working that right from the outer corner to the inner corner. Next we'll be taking the shade Fierce and with the same brush we're going to go back over the crease and just blend those two shades together. So next I'll be taking the shade Flirt with my E25 brush and I'm just going to apply that to the outer V and smudge it through to the mobile lid. So just deepening the shade there. Then I'll be taking the shade Queen B and my E30 pencil brush and we'll just define the V. So pushing that right into the lower lash line and the first third of the crease. I'll then take my E25 brush and just blend that out together. Then I'll just go back in with Fierce and blend everything through together. So this just gets rid of any harsh edges and make sure everything is working cohesively. So next I'll be taking my NYX concealer again and we're just going to carve out the mobile lid just to apply a base for when I want to apply my shimmer shade. So next I'll be taking the shade Vacay and the E60 Large Shader Brush by Sigma and I'll just be packing that shimmer shade all over the concealer we just applied. So it should go on fairly easily as the concealer would have supplied a really tacky base for the shimmer to stick to. So next we'll be taking the shade Daydream with the E25 brush and we'll just deepen that out of V and blend into the shimmer shade. Again, just getting rid of any harsh edges and making sure everything is cohesive. I'll then just be going back in with Fierce to blend this all together again. Mm -hmm. 
Next, using the shade Daydream and the E30, we'll just deepen the lower lash line. So just pushing that into the lashes. I'll be going in with the shade Dainty to highlight the brow bone. So just again using my E60 large shader brush. That's done, it's time for the brows. So I'll be using my Urban Decay Brow Box in Brown Sugar today and my Sigma E15. Then next we'll be going in with the Maybelline Brow Drama in Deep Brown, just to set the brows. Now moving on to the face. I'll be taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, applying that directly to my skin. Now this is a full coverage foundation and it is water-based, so make sure you are using a water-based primer when you use this foundation. Taking my Beauty Blender, I'm going to blend that all out. So next I'll be taking my Maybelline Bit Me Concealer in Fair Claire and applying that to my under eye in a V. So this is going to help brighten up my under eye as well as tidy up any of the eyeshadow fallout that I would have had and really sharpen those edges. Taking my Beauty Blender, we'll just blend that out. So next we'll be taking the NYX uh, liquid liner and I'll be making my wing. So I believe the shade this one is Glam Black. So it's got a bit of a glitter finish. Sorry, I can't really see what I'm doing. I have to work on my camera work. So next I'll be taking my Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder onto a beauty blender and just pack that onto my under eye concealer to set that. So we will just let the product sit on the skin. Now I'll be taking my Chiga Boom palette by Benefit. This is an amazing palette, so the first shade I'm using is my Hula Bronzer. And I'll be taking my Sigma Large Contour Brush and working that into my cheekbones. So next I'll be taking the shade Rocketeur with my large angled contour brush and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and working it up over my contour. Now this shade is amazing, it's a kind of fusion between a bronzer and a really metallic deep blush. Then I'll just be taking my large tapered face brush and dusting off the translucent powder from my under eye. Now for my favourite part I'll be taking my Nicole Guerriero Glow Kit in the shade Glow Getter with my, small, more, with my small tapered face brush. Just applying that pretty much everywhere. Next I'll be taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Just applying a thick layer to my lashes. Finally doing my lips, I'll be taking my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Vixen.
and that is it guys um thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe head over to my instagram luana madison anyway as well as my facebook to check out all my work um i hope you guys really enjoyed this and i can't wait to see you next time see you later